Liquid is a simple templating language Jekyll uses to process pages on your site. With Liquid, you can output and modify variables, have logic statements inside your pages, and loop over content. So we'll start with a basic example. We'll add some content to the front matter. Uh, we'll have a variable called heading, and we'll make it I like cupcakes. Then we can output that in our main body. So we'll just create an H1 here. To output in liquid, it's two curly braces like this. Then my front matter is available at page dot and then the name of my variable. Here it's heading. So that H1 is now rendered on the page. With liquid, we can also modify this content by running it through a filter. So a filter is set by a bar like that. And we want this heading to all be uppercase, so we can run it through the upcase filter. And now that heading is all uppercase. And we can run this content through multiple filters as well. So here we'll run it through a truncate, and we'll say we only want the output to be eight characters. So now that main heading is truncated to eight characters. Let's get into some liquid logic statements and control what is shown on the page. So I'll add a new variable here called show heading, which is false. And I'll only show this main heading here if show heading's true. There's two types of markup in liquid. So there's output, which is this two curly braces. And now we're going to use tag markup which is often used for logic statements. So tag markup is curly brace percentage sign. And in here we can write an if statement. So we'll go if page.show heading is true, then output the heading. And then we can end that with an end if. So because show heading is false, it won't output this heading which you can see we just have a blank page and we'll change this to true and the heading is output. We can also add an else if to this if statement. So we'll say else if page.heading contains the word cupcake. Then we will output a heading of I want cupcakes. And if heading doesn't have the word cupcake, we'll have a fallback of I don't want cupcakes. So let's change this to false and have a look at the output. And it's output I want cupcakes because heading is false in front matter and the heading contains the word cupcake. For this last example, we'll go over looping in Liquid. So we'll create a new variable here called cupcakes. And we'll just add some cupcakes here. And now we're going to loop over these cupcakes. So again, it's going to be the tag notation in Liquid. And we'll create a for loop. And the syntax is for variable in and then your array. And what this is doing is it's going to iterate over each item in this array and assign the current iteration to the variable cupcake. So we'll end that for loop. And we want to output this in an unordered list. So we'll surround the for loop in a UL. And then for each item, we want to be in an ally. And then we can just output the variable cupcake. And there we go. We've output a list of our cupcakes. This tutorial was brought to you by CloudCanon, the cloud content management system for Jekyll. For more free tutorials like this one, check out learn.cloudcanon.com.
www.thinkandgrowthpodcast.com.